Hello and welcome back again to how to measure the declination angle of the sun. In the previous part, uh, I explained the method how to to get the declination angle, but uh, I couldn't really say that it was how to calculate it because the steps that I used, the first step that uh, we needed, uh, which is measuring the the angle of position, I call it the angle of position, and pardon my ignorance with the terms. Uh, where's this? Where's the Earth in relation to the Sun? And to solve uh, uh, this uh, this problem, I assumed a, a circular orbit around the Sun, in which uh, the Earth covers uh, the same angle or angular speed around the Sun. Uh, for every day and from that angle we get uh, as you see here this line P and then we move to the next and we get this P from not now we know it we get this L and from L uh, uh, we get the latitude the inverse sine of L divide R uh, I hope you can get back to the previous part to know where uh, we stop. So, at the end of that previous part, I said that the problem is the the Earth orbit is not a circle; it's an ellipse. And uh, one of the very uh, distinct uh, characteristics of an ellipse is that, uh, well, the first thing is that the the sun is not in the center of that orbit. It's in what's called a, a focus, and there's another focus here that is empty. Uh, it, but anyway, uh, when the Earth in this path, the closest uh, to the Sun, it's the fastest, and when it's the furthest from the Sun, it's the slowest. So as you see here, the the angular uh, speed around the Sun is not constant. Uh, so I had to find a way to calculate that uh, angle of position. So I had to do a little bit of study for the ellipses. And uh, if this is the path of the Earth and this is the Sun, so this distance I call it the, the close radius. And this is the far radius when the Earth is here. Uh, this is the empty focus and this is the Sun focus uh, I call this the F line I call this the empty focus line and the Sun focus uh, and the Sun focus line uh, this will be uh, the angle of the empty focus and this will be the angle of uh, the Sun or the angle of the location so let's move to the next. So this picture uh, shows another characteristic of the ellipse or elliptical orbit. It says that uh, for uh, a certain period of time, the line uh, between the planet and the sun will cover the same area for the same period of time. So this area is supposed to be the same as uh, this area and when I looked into the empty focus I realized that uh, this period of time is equal to this period of time and it's equal in the angle so that means that in the earth orbit around the Sun and this focus uh, is in a linear uh, relation between the angle around uh, the empty focus so if the year is 360 days this means that the earth uh, position in relation to the empty focus changes by one degree every day for the empty focus so if we know this angle we can get this angle from here
this is the angle that, that we are going to use according to the day of the year and uh, we'll need to know this line and this line in order to get this angle this angle will be uh, a sine relationship between these two lines now there's uh, another neat rule for uh, the ellipses that these two lines the EL and the SL are equal to the major semi axis uh, I tried to find the, the equation or conclude it but it was hard for me to get this line until I found uh, this equation R of an angle this R or this R if I know this angle so an R of a certain angle will equal A that's the uh, I think it's the semi major axis uh, multiply by 1 minus the eccentricity and the eccentricity of uh, of an ellipse uh, equals the, the far radius minus the close radius divided by the measure axis so oh, this value will divide it by 1 plus or minus uh, eccentricity cosine the angle again and this plus or minus because sometimes the line is here and sometimes the line uh, the EL is in this uh, direction so uh, I put these th this equation and I put another equation for for the uh, for the earth position uh, in relation to the empty focus and uh, I ran into another problem is that when the earth in its nearest path to the Sun is the 3rd of January so uh, these are 13 days I had to compensate for for the angle of 13 days anyway it's too complicated I took me too long on, on the Excel sheet and this section is what I came up. It's too messy. I'm sorry. I, I couldn't. I couldn't rephrase it again in a in a separate uh, spreadsheet. But uh, anyway, uh, let's go to the interface. Uh, this is the coordinates of Cueto, and that's the date first uh, of August. And the sun elevation on zenith on that day should be 71. Uh, point 0.9 and if we go to the Sun the date and time here is the 1st of August ah oh, sorry I, I was uh, selecting Cairo so anyway back to the Cueto Ecuador on the 1st of August the angle is uh, 71 uh, Point nine. That's the elevation angle during zenith. And sure, this is calculated by the declination angle. So let's uh, pick another time. Let's randomly say just uh, twelve. Uh, well, May. Twelve May. So let's go to May. So now uh, it loaded. Say 12 May. 12 May. The angle should be 71.5. 71.5. First of June. There again. June. The angle is uh, 67.7, 67.6. Uh, let's 
go to 1st of July. Sixty six point seven, sixty six point seven, first of August. We already checked it, so on first of September, eighty one point seven, September, first of September, elevation angles eighty one point seven. 81.7 and I even managed to to get the distance to the Sun since now I work with the with the real deal the ellipse it's 93.806 uh, let me ninety three point806. 806. Sometimes it shifts by uh, 0.001, but uh, maybe not more than that. Uh, so let's move to next month, the 1st of October. 1st of October. Eighty six point nine. 86.8 distance of the sun 93.058 yeah, this is point oh five eight. so now these differences this little slight difference of 0.1 degrees is either because I'm not using the the exact uh, uh, orbit parameters that the time and date are using because uh, looking it up in, in uh, Wikipedia is, is not enough I I could do more uh, accurate or if I, if I know the same uh, dimensions they are using in time and date uh, I can get the same results The second possible reason for uh, this 0.1 degrees of uh, shift that I get uh, in some months or some days of the year uh, possibly is related because the, the sidereal uh, day is not equal to the, uh, I'm not sure what you call it. Uh, you see, I'm, I'm still struggling with this uh, thing and uh, the more I dig in it, the more I uh, I enhance it and get more accurate reading. Although I, I may be satisfied for uh, 0.1 degree of error uh, for quite a long time, starting from now. So I I hope I, I covered it all. I didn't forget anything of what I was preparing to demonstrate. Uh, I'll upload uh, all put a link to the latest uh, SunCalc spreadsheet and you can test it yourself. Thank you all for watching.